Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass, and today we are headed back underwater. We're talking Texas rigs. We're gonna go underwater and watch how different bass respond to some different Texas rig baits. Now, if you saw the recent video we did on Texas rig baits, you already know that my personal preference is creature baits. Those are the baits that I like to throw on that Texas rig. So what we've done is picked a handful of our favorite Texas rig baits, and we actually picked them in some of our absolute favorite colors as well. We'll link all the baits down in the video description to make it easy for you. So if you see something that you like, it will be down there, including color recommendations, how to rig it, all those sorts of different things. But what we're gonna do is head underwater now and watch how some different bass react to those baits.
Well, what did you think? Did you have some favorites? Did you have one that stood out to you? That bait that you just need to throw? Or maybe it's a tried and true favorite, a bait that you've always thrown and you were just impressed how those fish ate it. We'd love to hear about it down in the comments. I'll tell you for us, we had a handful of different baits that we really, really liked. I already knew how much I love that Kai Tech Crazy Flapper. That thing looks so good subsurface. It's incredible how well it moves and how the fish just come up and engulf it because it doesn't have those big long tails, those big tentacles where they can short strike it. But it's also amazing for as long as all of these different creature baits are, the fish don't seem to grab the tails that much. You know, compared to a tube or a jig or some different baits where they might grab at the tails, that Texas rig, I think it's because it's fairly weightless when it's falling, especially when they're falling slow, that the fish just come up and engulf them whole. And that is a really interesting point and something that you should take note of. If you're getting short strikes, go to a lighter weight, unpeg it so that that bait falls slowly and you might find that those fish just completely engulf it after you do that little change. A second thing, I like to set the hook right away. Hammer those fish. That's how I like to set. But every once in a while, I'll start getting those days where I'm doing that and I'm missing. You'll notice that sometimes those fish will grab that bait and then suck it in. So don't be afraid to adapt. If you're in that condition, my normal advice, set as soon as you feel anything. But there are exceptions to that rule. So if you get the vibe that they're doing that little double bite, when you feel the first bite, wait just a little bit. Then set the hook. See if that doesn't help. But the opposite is also true. If you're getting bites, waiting for it, swinging a miss, speed up that hook set. Hit them as soon as you feel them and you might be better off. Both are worth trying. Again, down in the video description, we'll link all the different baits, our favorite colors, because they are very specific this time of year. We love those bluegill profiles, those bluegill style colors, and all the baits. We'll also recommend some rods and reels if you don't have a favorite setup yet to throw this style of bait and you wanna throw it. We'll tell you exactly what we use so that you know a good starting point. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed going underwater and you learned something from the footage. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.